Hey y'all, it's Kelly from Dixie Darlings Tumblers and I'm back with seven days of template tutorials on YouTube using the new Dixie Darlings Artist Foil and Glitter Tape. So, shameless promo on my part. I apologize y'all, but I'm so excited about this. Y'all know I use a ton of this double-sided adhesive tape and so I'm really excited to bring y'all a week of tutorials. So, the first one I'm going to do is actually today is going to be the beach tutorial and I'm using all foils. So, it's this beautiful template that's like the sunrise with the beach and the palm trees. And I'm going to use a whole variety of foils. And then, Cindy at Southern Belle Glitter also got these very thin abalone shells in. And I thought they would be the perfect touch to the sand part of the beach tumbler. So, that's what you guys are going to see me do today. I've got a fun, another one coming tomorrow. So, I hope that you guys enjoy it. And please, like I always say, join my Dixie Darlings Tumblers Facebook group. That's where I go live on Sunday nights. We've started doing Fun Full Friday again, which we used to do every Friday. Now, it's kind of randomly, but I'm trying to reinstill it into every Friday. So, y'all join me over there. Please check out all my other tutorials. There are a lot of them that have been done over the past year using these double-sided adhesive sheets, if you're not familiar, with a lot of different ways to use them. These have superior tack for foil, but you will also see me using them with glitter. They work great for glitter, but the foil sticks to them so beautifully. So I'm so excited for you guys to get them in your hands and try them. And please tag them. Share them in my Facebook group, Dixie Darlings Tumblers. Come join us live. It's my opportunity to interact with you guys on Sunday nights. And here it is what the y'all want to see. So, and then when you get these double-sided adhesive sheets, this artist foil and glitter tape, please tag me in your creations. I love to see what you guys come up with and just different ideas. You're gonna see me, I've used them on acrylic tumblers, I mean acrylic notebooks and tumblers and acrylic blanks. So you'll see them used on a variety of things. Um, I'm sure that you guys have many more uses for them. So please share them with me as you come up with new ideas. Thank y'all so much for joining me and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, y'all, I'm starting today with a 20 ounce skinny straight from Craft Haven. I've sanded my cup and I've spray painted it. The colors I used in spray paint, I'll link below, but they're Rust-Oleum 2X and I used metallic gold, coral, ocean mist, and dreamy lavender are the colors that I used. Um, and now I'm gonna apply my artist foil and glitter tape. And I have cut it on my Cricut. I will do a more in-depth tutorial on this. I did use the setting paper minus, and I have the Cricut Air Explorer. And it's a paper minus setting, and I put my pressure at 300. And I will link where I purchased the template in the description box below as well. It's just one I found on Etsy, and I'll make sure that it's linked below for you guys. So I just cut the very edge of it off here. You can see I stand my cup up where the top is on the table, where it gives me an edge to put my template around so it'll make sure that it's straight on the cup. And then I'm gonna wrap it around just like I do a vinyl wrap. So I just kind of take one hand, I hold it down, I just press with my other thumb as I'm going down to make sure there's no air bubbles and then I get a smooth transfer of the double-sided adhesive tape to the cup. And then you can see I'm trying to make sure at the top and the bottom that I'm getting smooth as well. And then I just let the backing of this artist foil and glitter tape come off as I'm placing it around the cup. And obviously, shameless plug here, you can find this Artist Foil and Glitter Tape, which is the double-sided adhesive tape, or you've also heard them Cat Scratch. I've come out with my own now, and it's going to be exclusively carried at Southern Bell Glitter. I love the way that the foils attach to this. You guys have seen me do a lot of tutorials over the past year. I really love it. And this one especially, because the foils do really well, glitter also will, but I love the way the foils stick to this one. And once I have it placed on the cup, you're going to see me use a number of foils. So I'm just going to start with my darker colors. I'm going to go in. This is going to be kudos to you that I'm going to do the bark 
kind of area on the palm trees. I love this kudos for you. All the foils that I use today are from Southern Bell Glitter. I'm not going to talk a lot through this, y'all, probably. I'm just going to let you guys watch. I know some of you have done this many times. Some of you have not, so I want to make sure that I leave enough of it in to where if you're not familiar with adding foils to the Artist Foil and Glitter Tape, you can see me do that. This is actually a clay dotting tool that I use. It has a silicone tip on one end, and it has like a little metal tip on the other. It's really good for kind of outlining. You'll see when you go to lay the foils in on some of these templates, they don't want to lay right up against the edge. So this little tool allows you to go in and kind of get that little outer area right there. So you'll kind of just see me outline the area. And so I'm going to use kudos to you. Then I'm going to go in with a green. Um, you can use any Kelly green color. Um, the one I used, and then I go in with Illusion and kind of outline the palm trees. I just want to give you all the colors real quick. Um, and sometimes you're going to see me kind of wad these up. This kind of gives it more of a distressed look. I knew I wanted the palm tree leaves to be various colors. So I'm going to go in with this green first. And then I actually am going to place another color in it. So if you don't want to do one flat color on an area... You can just kind of crinkle your foils up and you'll see it gives you a transfer, but it doesn't give you, you know, that solid transfer that normally everybody's looking for. This one is not. This way you're going to do it where it'll allow you to do two different colors or even really multiple colors for that. If you if there's an area and you'll see me when I go into actually the sky part of this, that I start adding various colors in there because I wanted it to be a blend of several. So here you can see our illusion. It's this purple and green kind of shift color shift that I wanted to outline the leaves in just to give them a little bit of the dimension so they wouldn't be just a solid green color. And now I'm going to go in, this is called Ice Queen. Love this color, y'all. So I'm going to start, and I'm doing the same thing with this one because I want to add in a deeper teal to this as well. So it gives the water a little dimension. So I'm using this Ice Queen, which I love, love, love. If y'all don't have Ice Queen and Drama Queen, Drama Queen's like the rose gold version of this. This is the blue color of it. Obsessed with these two foils from Southern Belle Glitter. So you can see I've crinkled it up, and I'm just applying this one. And then it's going to give me some creases where I can go back in and add a deeper teal. I'm going to use this other teal here. You can use a teal cascade, I think, which was this color. I'm not sure it's available now, but there's a really pretty chameleon that you can use as well. Um, and then they're just, there's a blue bubbles. There's several different options that you can kind of layer in here to make the water a little three-dimensional. And then you can see I'm just taking my tool and I'm going to go in and just add little areas of it. Then I'm going to go in for the beach and I'm going to use hollow gold and ice, no, hollow gold and the drama queen that I was just talking about. I'm going to layer these two in there. So you're going to see me layer both of these. This is the drama queen. Oh my goodness. You can't even see how pretty this one is in this, using it in this aspect, but it just has a little sparkle down there. So I wanted the hollow gold, but I didn't want it to be a solid coverage. So crinkled it the same way and left a little open areas to add this little sparkle down here that Drama Queen creates. And I actually end up adding these two to the bottom of the cup you'll see later. And then I do use the Drama Queen right here for the sun. I'm obsessed with this color. Sorry. Okay, I'll move on now. So then I've got my clouds. I'm just going to take a white here. This is just a white foil. It almost looks a little powdery. And I'm going to add some of these abalone shells that I've got from Southern Belle Glitter over the top of this. So you'll see me do that in a minute. Now, I'm just, I left this in so you guys could kind of see some of the colors I'm using. Here, we've got the copper raindrops and purple, let me think about this, y'all, purple streamers. <laughs> and then there is the pink Too Faced, which I'm obsessed with too. So you're going to kind of see me layer these in. This is the Too Faced. It's like a really pretty silver and pink mix. And then the purple streamers. 
um, just added a little bit of that to the bottom for the sunset. And then you're going to see me go in with this copper raindrops. I thought it would just kind of be the perfect little top off of the cup to add kind of that golden orange look to the sunset. So I just did this in pieces because I wasn't sure exactly. Sometimes y'all, when I start this out, I think I know what colors I want to use, but I want to make sure that they all look good together. So I usually start in a little area. Um, when, especially if I'm blending some together to kind of see how they blend, see if I really like those colors together or not. Um, so that's why you're going to see me kind of do this. You could definitely do the whole area at one time. I tend to make a mess that way and end up getting other stuff stuck to my double-sided tape there my artist foil and glitter tape. So I try to do little pieces of it at a time and just make sure that I can blend them well. So that's really my only reason for doing it that way. Okay, so it's going to appear that I'm applying the same coat that you just saw me, but this is actually the next coat where I'm going to add these abalone shells into. So I'm going to apply my epoxy the same amount as I did previously, about 15 to 20 milliliters is a thin coat, just enough where I can lay these shells in. So I do apply this layer. It's again, medium viscosity artist resin from counterculture. I apply the coat. I use my torch to pop any bubbles and then I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes. Just so any rotation that's on the cup, I'm not going to get that What so I can apply my abalone shells. And once I place them, they will stay where I want them. Okay, so I'm going to start adding these abalone shells. And you can see they're very thin. They break up very easily. I basically just use my tweezers to kind of pop them into little pieces. They come in like bigger pieces, but I wanted them separated. So I do have this sped up, but I just wanted you guys to be able to see and you can layer them on top of each other, you know, if you wanted to do a second layer. I kind of thought I would, but then I really liked how it turned out, so I just left them. Um, but I thought they might just be like a perfect little added touch to um, the sand, just to give it a little dimension. And then I do end up going back and adding some of the white ones uh, to the clouds. So these are, these are the gold ones. I don't know if they actually have a name, y'all. They come in a set from Southern Bell Glitter, but they're very thin. I've been able to add them where I just add uh, like two coats of epoxy on top of them. So they're not thick enough to where your cup's not going to be smooth after is what I really like about them. And after I let that coat dry about eight hours, then I'm going to go in with another layer of medium viscosity artist resin just to give that one layer of coverage because I am going to go back in with some adhesive and cover the bottom with the hollow gold foils and the drama queen. So you'll see me do this afterwards. It's definitely something that can be done before. I just decided that I wanted a little dimension afterwards. So I put a layer of epoxy in between. This is Counterculture's medium viscosity. Again, it's 15 milliliters and I let this dry about eight hours. So now I'm going to add this to the bottom after I've let that coat of epoxy dry for about eight hours. This is the Southern Bell Glitter Foil Adhesive. 
Um, this is the my go-to adhesive. I'm just brushing it on with a cheap little paintbrush here, making sure the bottom's covered. And then I'm gonna come up around the edges, you'll see, just so I can make sure that it blends in. And then it's just gonna give it a little depth to the bottom um, since there are a couple of layers of epoxy in between there. The main thing on the adhesive is I just try to make sure there's no areas that are white. If you can see, I'm just going to kind of try to brush it out where it's as smooth as possible. Those little areas that don't dry clear like that are kind of tend to be where the foil doesn't stick if anybody has a problem with that. So you definitely want to let this dry till clear. Because I'm impatient, I don't usually sit and let it dry. Um, I usually take my heat gun and dry it myself so I can go ahead and add the foils. Then I'm just going to go in with my hollow gold. Sorry, I was a little off kilter here, y'all. <laughs> but I'm just gonna add my hollow gold foils. And I know that I'm gonna go back in with the Drama Queen and touch it up a little bit. So I just kind of did a rough edit on these here. And then I'm gonna go back in with the Drama Queen and just any of those little areas that didn't get filled in, I'm gonna add the Drama Queen to them. Then again, I'm gonna add a quick layer of Counter Cultures Quick Coat. It is the urethane sealer. Just where I put that adhesive on the bottom, I wanna make sure that it's not gonna repel epoxy. So I'm gonna add a quick little layer of this, let it dry for 30 minutes, and then I'm gonna go into my layer of epoxy. So again, I am using Counter Cultures Medium Viscosity, 15 milliliters here um, of their Artist Resin Epoxy. And I'm gonna apply this coat. I'm gonna let it dry. And then I do sand the rim at the top and any areas that need to be sanded and add a final coat. So, and then we're gonna have our final design. So I hope that you enjoyed the design, y'all. I hope that y'all enjoy these templates and that I'm coming out with this week and the new Artist Full and Glitter Tape. Please tag me in your creations. I'd love to see what you guys create. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all again soon.